Salve a tutti e ben ritrovati in un nuovo video di Watch Over Christmas. Allora, siamo nella serra della mamma di Sisko. Dove ci eravamo fermati nella scorsa puntata, no? E qua vedo un sacco di roba. Proviamo a evidenziare gli hotspot. Eh sì. Le cesuie. When I was younger, mom hid all the sharp objects. Now they're everywhere. Ci possono sempre servire. Una pianta. A beautiful flowering plant. Smells really nice. E perché la dobbiamo raccogliere? Radice. A root from one of mom's plants. Not sure if it's the one I need. Ah, perché ti servono le radici? A beautiful flowering plant. Smells really nice. Qua praticamente devo raccogliere tutte le piante. A beautiful flowering plant. Smells really nice. Ma perché? Sto raccogliendo tutte queste radici. One is enough. Qui le abbiamo raccolte tutte. Non ditemi che devo fare un altro minigioco. Però stavolta con le radici. A beautiful flowering plant. Smells really nice. Chiudiamo la porta. Non c'è mai niente dietro le porte. Una vanga. Mom loves to look after her plants, so you'll never find her shovel in the same place. I already have one. One is enough. Ho preso tutto, dunque. Sì. That's where Mom keeps all of her notes. Raccogliamolo. E a che ci serve? I'd better take a look at mom's notes. Perhaps I'll find something useful in them. Oh dear. It reads ornithology notes. It's a beautiful illustration of a bird. Could it be a parrot? These are mom's notes about heated bird baths. Let's see what it reads. Water is as essential for birds as much as it is for humans. They need it to drink, bathe, and preen. In cold climates, fresh liquid water can be scarce in the winter. Due to heavy snowfall and polar ice, birds shouldn't use extra energy to melt snow for their needs. They should save energy to get through the winter. So by having a heated bird bath, which melts snow and ice, you can provide abundant water for the birds throughout the winter season. Here is an idea on how to create a makeshift bird bath while you are out in the wild. Find a clear spot where you can build your fire. Place some stones on the ground at a short distance apart and put some sticks between them. Support a hollow tree stump on the rocks or anything alike that can keep the fire alive at the bottom. Place a metal basin or anything similar above it to hold water. Once you are ready, fire up the sticks. Hmm, that's interesting. E perché? Tra l'altro una frase non è stata tradotta. It reads detailed study of roots. Oh, questo ci interessa. An interesting drawing style. It looks like watercolor. It illustrates a plant highlighting mostly its root. 
Ipomia. Ipomia is the largest genus in the flowering plant family Morning Glories. Morning Glory is a family of about 60 genera and more than 1,650 species. So it's not that easy to discern an Ipomia genus simply by looking at it. The best way to detect it is by examining its root. After many months of experiments, I concluded that the Ipomia root has the following three characteristics that distinguish it from other morning glory genera. One, if you carefully extract and distill some oil from the vascular tissue of the root, you will get a spicy aroma. Caution, the vascular tissue of the root must not be torn. It is highly recommended to use a dissection needle before extraction. Two, once the root is placed under a UV light, it emits an orange color. Three, if a slice of the root is inspected under a microscope, its cross-section has a specific pattern. Hmm, mom's notes may come in handy. I'd better remember them if I want to find the Ipomia root. Hmm, e questo sarebbe il disegno che appare al microscopio. It reads botanical notes. If I had to take a guess, I would say it's a rose. Mom really loves them. Our front yard is hedged with this type of rose. E sti cazzi. It reads entomology notes. A colorful illustration of an insect. I'm not surprised, but I have to admit that Mom is so good at drawing. Ah, quindi l'ha disegnata lei. Hai capito? It reads Crafts Designs Projects. It's an illustration of a design tool called a compass. Impressive perspective. No, non è la bussola, è il compasso. These are notes from a school science project that mom helped me out with. She even kept my original draft idea. I wanted to create a rocket out of simple everyday objects. Instead, mom advised me that a self-watering planter would be more useful since eco-friendly products are the future. Needless to say, she was right. I got an A. These are notes from a school she I inst need Vabbè, il libro è finito. Esaminiamo il mini laboratorio. Mom's personal mini lab. It has all the necessary equipment, glassware, microscope, Bunsen burner, pipettes, and other cool stuff. Le pipette. Mom's personal mini lab. I've seen her numerous times trying to identify or categorize plants, roots, or even leaves. I bet I can do the same to identify the Ipomia root that I need from all the morning glory roots I've collected. Oh. According to Mom's notebook, to identify the Ipomia root from all other morning glories, I have to look for the following three characteristics. The oil of the root, obtained by distillation, gives off a spicy aroma. Upon placed under UV light, it emits an orange color. If inspected under a microscope, its cross-section has a specific pattern. So I have to check all ten roots for these three characteristics. If a root does not meet one of the characteristics, I can exclude it by closing the corresponding lid. This way, by the process of elimination, in the end, I'll be left with the right one. Sicuro. A lab tool that is used to collect and transfer small quantities of liquids. No. Proviamo con questa. It would be better to try it if I had the root place somewhere. Qui? I'll try and make a tiny incision in the bark to reach the vascular tissue. Great! Done! E quindi?
A container with a spherical body and a cylindrical neck capable of holding liquids. Dobre, Emre. Ma non è che esplode tutto. The aroma is somewhat intense and rich. Definitely spicy. Non dirmi che già l'ho trovata. Dov'è la luce UV? Intriguing! The root emits a purple color. E eh no. Non è questo. I'll try and make a time great. Sì, vabbè. Ogni volta devi dire la stessa cosa. Aspetta. Come faccio a togliere il liquido di prima? A container with No. The aroma lo devo scartare. Vabbè. I should empty the flasks first to avoid getting the wrong results. Great! Now I can continue. Ah, lo fai tu. The aroma is somewhat intense and rich. Definitely spicy. Tutte piccanti. Intriguing. The root emits an orange color. Dai che questa è quella giusta. All right. I'll cut a slice in case I want to examine it more closely. Hey, this cross section looks like mom's drawing. L'abbiamo trovata, l'ipomia. E questa. Gee, I've randomly eliminated all other roots. Science is not based on chance. I need to test all roots for all three characteristics. This is the only way I can be sure of which one is the Ipomea root. Ma è questa. Ma dai. Questa l'avevo esaminata. Intriguing! The root emits a blue color. No, vabbè. Non ci credo. Allora ci vediamo dopo. I'll try and make a tiny incision. It's great! E questa è l'ultima. Since I discarded all other roots, the one which remained must be the Epomea one. What a fun process of elimination it was! I love science! Proprio divertente. Ma dico io, se l'avevo trovata, la radice giusta, perché ho dovuto ripetere tutte quelle operazioni uguali per tutte le altre nove radici? Proprio un minigioco stupido. E mi casca qui il gioco. Su questi mini giochi, appunto, scusate il gioco di parole, e l'ho ripetuto ancora. Vabbè, comunque l'importante è che abbiamo trovato l'altro ingrediente. La Befana ha detto che ho tag con Krampus' nome on it. Dobbiamo trovare ancora la targhetta. Le lacrime di elfo e la miscela congelata. 
Lavifauna said I should bury the name tag in the soil of a Nifalufa flower and then mix it with the roasted seeds. Once all these are combined, I should freeze the mixture. Ecco questo. Okay, that has to be the weirdest ingredient. Santa's personal ornament? Really? Personal? E dove lo trovo? Qua non dobbiamo fare più nulla, a parte usare la valvola. It controls whatever liquid passes through these pipes. I don't want to mess with that. Mom is very strict with her personal space. E allora perché ci fa interagire? I prefer eating This is not the right key. Allora è della botola. Brilliant! Now I'll be able to enter the house. Ecco a che serviva il passaggio. Non è che è cambiato qualcosa pure qui. The door is locked for the night. I don't take out the I'm sure there's nothing else. a slice of warm bread with mo no non dovrei ricontrollare gli stessi posti better not i don't want to wake everyone up e allora perché mi hai fatto rientrare in casa Cerca. They are empty at the moment. No. So that's one way. It's also a way to burn. Posso spegnere stavolta. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. Braccioli del divano. If your palm gets sweaty from holding the remote, that's the place to put it. Surprisingly, it's empty. E qua forse era dove potevo trovare il telecomando. Che devo fare? Qua devo scavare sicuro. Let's see. Here's my house, which is obviously a human house, and the wall is facing north. That's great! Exactly as Labafana instructed. I can dig a small hole here to plant the soil mixture. A hole dug in the ground. E posso metterci 
il suolo di Nifalu. That was almost a good idea. Almost. Come no? Ah, devo sotterrare la targhetta prima. Eh sì. Niente, per adesso qua... Guarda porta del garage. No, niente, non è niente. Andiamocene. All right, let's see where I want to go. E siamo di nuovo al nodo centrale. Qua dobbiamo far ripartire la torre. Can you get the clock to operate again? Sorry, kid, but that's not possible. You have to. Really? Why is that? You see, Idril hasn't taken any break since the clock tower isn't functioning. I met her and she looks really exhausted. Did you know that she is replying to kids' letters? Uh, yes. Don't you want the kids to receive proper responses? Uh, yes. Unless Idril takes a break, that won't happen. You are right. Here, take these cogs. Normally there should be five, but I broke one. Oh! I gave it to the elves up in the workshop to repair it for me, but they never returned it. Thank you! That's not all. Melsonic has the other half of the cogs. You have to convince him to give them to you. Got it. E noi il quinto ingranaggio ce l'abbiamo. Però è stato facile convincerlo. <laughs> I should get going. It was nice talking to you. Melsonic aveva detto che ci vuole una carta ufficiale. Per convincerlo. On second thought, it seems unlikely. A bunch of cogs. Proviamo di nuovo a parlarci. Can you get the clock to... That's out of... But you... Says... I do. She's been work... Idril? That's right. <laughs> Without a formal declaration from an authority certifying that the tower can be put Una back into operation, formale. I can't be... A okay. I should get going. It was nice talking to you. Andiamo al villaggio di Krampus. Parliamo con Lizzy. Anzi, zizi. <laughs> Hello! Yes? I need a formal statement that authorizes putting the clock tower back into operation. I can't do that. Come d'accordo. Oh, come on, please? Sorry, not sorry, but no. Please? Sorry, but no. Pretty please. Pretty please? Sorry, no. Pretty, pretty, please? No. Pretty, please, with uh, sugar on top. <ride> Qua perché ha scritto buttalo, tanto non era importante. Ti riempirò anche la tazza. I leave and refill your cup. No. I'll do any favor you want. No. But I really need it. No. I desperately need it. No. Guarda che io insisto. It's a matter of life and death. No. If I can't have it, you'll be in trouble. No. I'll let Krampus know about it. No. Give it to me. No. If you give it to me, I promise I'll stop. No. Ecco. Look, I'm 12, and I can do this forever. Fine, you win. Here, 
take it, but don't tell anyone that I gave it to you. E lo sapevo che avresti ceduto. I have to go. Bye. Bisogna essere insistenti e perseverare. It reads, Town Hall of Krampus's Village. Letter of Declaration. This formal paper certifies under the pact that the clock tower is authorized to start operating again. All interested elves are obliged to comply according to this statement. Department of Letters. Wow, that should definitely do it. There you go, the declaration certifying the restart of the clock tower. Let me see. Mm. E date una mossa. Right. It looks valid. Here you go. These are the cogs you'll need to restart the clock. Good luck convincing Frostnut to give you the other half of them. Thanks. Già fatto, Melsonic. Dai, comunque il gioco non è affatto così difficile. Certo, ho usato le soluzioni negli episodi scorsi, anzi in un episodio. Non esageriamo. Hmm, right. Sì, ma sti ingranaggi dove li devo mettere? Devo tirare prima la leva. Felt like an earthquake. The land below must be really deep. It's full of cogs and other mechanical parts. Mi sa che c'è un mini gioco. Ho questo sentore. I'll just spread out the cogs that I got from the sentinels, along with the one I found in Santa's workshop. Now let's put the clock tower back into operation. Eh, questo è un mini gioco classico. Con le forme degli ingranaggi capita spesso nei giochi di avventura. Io andrò a culo ovviamente. No. Questa fila. Neanche. Ok. Quale ci va qui? Perché per girare girano. Ecco. E dai. Eh? All ten cogs are spinning. That means the clock tower is working again. Anche questo molto semplice in fin dei conti. What was that? Did they finally reconcile? Who cares? The clock tower is working again. I can now take my break. I believe I deserve at least half an hour. E adesso andiamo subito al castello di Babbo Natale. Che era di qua? No, ovviamente. 
Allez quoi Prendiamo i bastoncini. There's no surveillance device anywhere, so why not? I don't know if it's the adrenaline of the forbidden or the fact that it somehow belongs to Santa, but this candy cane tastes different. Ah, te lo sei mangiato. They seem like opened letters. Saliamo su. Oh, questo è l'ufficio di Babbo Natale. C'è un pacotto. Some presents ready to be delivered. Eccolo qua. Ah, questo è quello che... Come si chiamava? Eh. <ride> che ti fa vedere le immagini. Tipo una macchinetta fotografica, però non lo è. È più un binocolo giocattolo, penso. Non vorrei dire cazzate. Some presents ready. I assume that this is where Santa stores all the letters he receives. It looks strangely clean, as if it has never been used. Could it be the North Star? Quindi questo addobbo dove lo troviamo? That is so impressive. I wonder if it's working. Un pezzo di carta. There's a memo written on it entitled The Cuckoo Flow. Cuckoo, cuckoo, what do you do? I sing the five rules. I never cuckoo more than three times. If you hear the first cuckoo of spring, it is good luck. Only two cuckoo species make my sound. Survival is my strongest point. It always comes first. By the end of the second half of summer, I have laid all my eggs. Finally, once you got the flow, ask me the funniest thing and I'll reward you with the code. That's a weird memo. E non lo puoi prendere. It must be Santa's office desk. It looks so impressive. Playing Santa would be a dream come true, but not now that he's gone missing. Altro Three gioco. Three weights in the shape of a pine cone. Usually, these are responsible for each function of the clock. Looks like I can pull them. Maybe if I adjust them in the right sequence, I'll be able to make it work. Nothing happened. I need to find the right sequence. È quella che ci dice il promemoria per caso. Cinque volte devo tirare. Hmm, nothing happened. I need to find the right sequence. Allora, siccome sto provando e riprovando a beccare la giusta sequenza, ma non ci riesco. E anche se ho letto il promemoria, non ho capito che suggerimenti mi dà. Non sono riuscito a decifrare il biglietto. Allora sono andato a vedere in che ordine devo tirare le corde. Ho visto un po' le soluzioni, insomma. Che poi mi dispiace pure perché fino adesso stavo andando spedito. Dicevo che il gioco era semplice, molto facile, in questa parte. Vabbè, comunque la giusta combinazione è questa. Ecco fatto. The cuckoo came out holding something in its beak. Poi non ho capito vedendo sempre le soluzioni. Che se vado qua. Hey, what was that? Su questa mattonella. Si apre questo scomparto, un cilindro. 
calendar with a series of five strange symbols. Aspetta, prima parliamo col cucù. A well-carved wooden blue cuckoo looks so realistic. It holds a piece of paper in its beak. <laughs> Sai dove è Babbo Natale? Do you know where Santa is? No, la domanda sbagliata ho fatto. The cuckoo came out holding something in its beak. Would you like a cookie? Neanche. E se esaminassimo il cilindro? Hmm, what is this? It reminds me a lot of the puzzles we play for fun at the space camp called Spot the Odd One Out. Oh, io ho cliccato a caso. Mm. Nothing happened. E ho sbagliato. Oh, finalmente. Wow, a secret compartment. Santa's office is full of surprises. E devo tirare la leva. Hey, the fireplace turned. Aspetta, non non devo prendere questo bigliettino che ha cucù. Is there any way to pop that piece of paper? Ma quindi è l'ultima domanda, quella delle mummie. Ma perché? Hey! The... Why do mummies like Christmas so much? Because it's all the rabbit. Ma che risposta è? Ma dai, che cazzata. A small folded piece of paper. It fell out of the cuckoo's mouth. Esamiamo. A piece of paper with some markings and holes. Interesting. Ma che ci serve? Strangely clean, as if it has never been used. Oh boy, the door shut suddenly. I hope I'm not trapped in here. Ah, ecco a che ci serve. Isn't it weird having a letterbox on the inside of a room? It's full though. It's closed. Unless I find a way to open it, I'm stuck here. Hmm. No, that doesn't work. But I'll keep trying until I find it. No, that does No. I'm afraid I can't do that. A cylinder with... It looks strangely... Posso uscire. It's closed. Hmm. Ah, c'è una cassaforte qui, non l'avevo vista. This must be Santa's personal safe. Whatever's inside must be important. I need to find a way to open it. Quindi questa è una chiave, vuoi vedere? A metallic rod shaped like a candy cane. 
I'm afraid I can't do that. So Santa has a secret safe. He must be keeping something really important inside. I bet it holds the special ornament Labifana requested. I'd better find a way to crack it open. E usiamo il foglio, giusto? The safe mechanism consists of three rings of different sizes, which can be rotated. All safes have an override code or something like it. In fact, it's a way that indicates how to crack it open in case you forget the combination. Usually, this hint is kept in the same room as the safe. I'd better look around and see if I can find anything. Ecco, ci hai detto l'ovvio. Quindi... A round piece of paper with some... I believe the paper has something to do with cracking the safe. Siccome non ci facciamo mancare nulla, ho visto anche come aprire questa cassaforte. Perché mi sono bloccato qui e non riesco ad aprirla. E io devo andare avanti. Mi dispiace. <ride> Allora, se metto i dischi in questo modo, che questo solco deve essere in questa posizione dove c'è la freccia, prendo questo coso e vedo i tre oggetti che servono per aprire la cassaforte, che li devo mettere in su. A nord, a mezzogiorno. Il tamburo, l'albero di Natale e il bicchiere. Yes! I cracked the code! Let's see what is so important to be kept in a safe. Aha! I knew it! Non ci sarei mai arrivato. An impressive sphere with some strange markings on it. This item must be really special for Santa to keep it in a safe. I'd better keep it tight until I see La Bifana again. I have a task for you boys. There's a child trying to rescue Santa. Nothing to worry about, but as they say, it's better to be safe than sorry. So head out and find him. Seize him and throw him in the dungeons. Now off you go. Ma chi erano quelli mo? Ma che non ci dobbiamo far catturare per caso? E si potrà uscire da qui finalmente. It's closed. Unless I find a way to open it, I'm stuck here. Devo rimettere a posto il bastoncino di zucchero. Hey, the fireplace turned. Perché non mi serve, vero? Hey, putting it back restored everything. Who would have thought? Qua ho finito, giusto? Ma poi non mi possono catturare, a me mi servono gli altri ingredienti ancora. Non è che devo andare al villaggio di Krampus. E se usassi... i patti nella ghiaccio qui? Sì! Eh? I see the water below. It must be really cold. E perché? Per congelare il composto. La Bifana said I should bury the name tag in the soil of a Nifalufa flower and then mix it with the roasted seeds. Once all these are combined, I should freeze the mixture. 
Non devo inserire il palo lungo. I don't see any reason. Better not. I don't see any connection. A teenage t-shirt with the name of Krampus on it. I was never good at paper cutting, but I believe I'll be able to cut a piece of fabric. <gasps> oh no! I cut my finger! I won't be able to continue this adventure anymore! Poor Santa! <laughs> Just kidding! Now that I have Krampus's name, nothing can stop me! Non ci posso credere. Facendo cose a caso. Vabbè, cose a caso. E adesso posso andare a sotterrare la targhetta, la top. Piece of fabric with Krampus's name on it. I hope it fits as a name tag for the spell. Andiamo. All right, let's see where I want to go. Spero di non fare troppi tagli, però sono rimasto bloccato e non voglio vedere sempre le soluzioni. I'm afraid I... No, aspetta, come era? Mannaggia. Ecco. All right. According to the spell instructions, I need to put the tag with Krampus's name into the soil of a Nifalufa flower. Done. A few steps more. E cioè? Ah, e devo tostare i semi. I now have some black thorn seeds in my possession. According to this drawing, I have to somehow roast the black thorn seeds. Ma in che modo? Quindi non li devo sotterrare adesso. If I complete all the steps of number 3, then I will be able to collect the black thorn fruit variant. Forse mi sa che ho capito. È la pentola. I'm afraid I can't Ma no. do that. O forse nel forno. Sì. Now let's wait for a while. I believe the seeds have been cooked enough. Adesso li congelo. Certo che sta sfera però è comoda. As shown in the spell instructions, I have to add the baked seeds to the mixture. Done! Almost there! Poi lo metto qui. Giusto? That would definitely freeze the mixture. If I don't want my hands to freeze as well, I'd better find another way to dip it into the freezing water. E che ci vuole? La canna da pesca. La bottiglia. There must be another way. E dai, c'ero così vicino. Yes, that would be e a vai. perfect container for the soil mixture. Brilliant, but I'm going to need something to dip it into the freezing water. La canna da pesca. Attaching the soil mixture to the fishing rod, I'll be able to sink it wherever I want. 
Ma guarda che se sono inventati. Wow, that was an ultra fast freezing. E mo lo dobbiamo sotterrare, giusto? is now planted. I'd better cover the hole. Okay, so now what? I have planted the soil mixture. Shouldn't something happen? Hmm, maybe it needs some water. What was that? E la mato. Raccogliamo il prugnolo o il pungitopo. E direi che posso finalmente fermarmi qui con questa ottava puntata. Ops, ho sbagliato tasto. Oh, mi sbaglio sempre. Comunque, prima di chiudere, vorrei dare un'altra occhiata alla ricetta. Perché se non sbaglio... Ci mancano solo le lacrime di elfo, perché il sacchetto ce l'abbiamo già. Cioè, solo un ingrediente mi manca. Potevo concludere con sta ricetta del cacchio. Vabbè. Io però vi ricordo che se avete apprezzato anche questo video e le mie fatiche, seguite il pop-up, lasciate dei commenti se mi volete dare dei suggerimenti, se ci riuscite, perché noi ci rivediamo domani con la nona puntata di Watch Over Christmas. Ciao a tutti!